Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna go over how to update the custom installed Redline CI 360C. Now there's two different ways to do this update process. Number one, you can do it using your computer. And number two, you can update wirelessly over Wi-Fi. There's pros and cons to both options. If you use your computer, the update process can be a little bit faster, but there are some hiccups that I've actually run into uh, that I wanted to show you guys so that you can avoid some of those. I was actually thinking of doing this video as a short, thinking it's as simple as like, well, just grab your computer, plug it in, run the update software and hit the button, but it's not quite that simple. So I'll go over some of that stuff and kind of some of the issues to avoid. Alternatively, if you'd like a more convenient update solution and not have to worry about bringing your computer out to your car here like this, uh, if you've got the detector connected to a Wi-Fi hotspot, whether you're parked near your home and connecting to your home Wi-Fi, or you've got a Wi-Fi hotspot built into the car, uh, the detector can also update wirelessly for you as well. That update process does take a little bit longer than doing it with a computer, but again, you've got a couple different options, each with their own pros and cons. And with that said, let's go ahead and take a closer look now here at exactly how to update the Redline CI 360C. <laughs> Now, in order to do the update here with the computer, you're gonna to wanna to head on over to Escort's website and download the latest version of their update software, Detector Tools Pro. I'll put a link to the update software for you down in the video description. Now, while Escort does offer update software for both Windows and Mac, uh, I haven't been able to get it to connect to my MacBook like I have been able to do with other detectors, uh, which is why I've actually got my Windows computer here, but your mileage may vary. Now, while you could just run the update software in the computer and plug in the detector, it's not quite that straightforward. If you go and try to update the software, uh, you'll notice that it's actually gonna error out for you here. And if you take a closer look, you can see that the proper order to do everything here is to first shut everything down, uh, second, plug the detector into the computer via USB, third, turn on the ignition of the car, and then finally, run the update software. So we'll go ahead and start unplugging things and shutting things down. Then we'll plug the detector into the computer over USB, Next, you'll want to go ahead and turn on your car. Uh, now, two quick tips here. Number one, uh, the red line is not going to power on when you've got it powered on here, uh, or plugged in rather, via USB. Uh, additionally, if you take a look, the display is not going to power on either. That is normal as well. Second, I've noticed it's better to go ahead and turn on the car's engine as well, not just the accessories and run the red line off the battery. The reason I say that is running it off the battery can sometimes throw uh, low voltage errors on the red line and it'll shut itself down. So turning off the car, or turning on the car's engine rather, uh, will help you avoid that issue. Next, we're gonna head back to the computer and run the update software. Now, if you find that the update software crashes on you, you can close the update software and try again. Now, you can update the detector by just pressing this button down here, though Escort does sometimes recommend uh, heading up here to device and then hitting update all software. So we're gonna go ahead and do the update process this way. Now, you'll notice that it says it's gonna take between five to 15 minutes or so. Uh, and assuming you've got the time, just go ahead and hit yes uh, and let it start updating. You'll also notice that it says that you're gonna to wanna to power up the detector first before you update the uh, GPS database for like speed cameras and whatnot. Additionally, after you update the firmware, a lot of times you're gonna to have to repair the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth with the detector, kind of deleting it out of the phone and out of the Drive Smarter app, uh, and then kind of like reconnect everything from scratch. And now that that's done, let's go ahead and power our red line back on. Now, as the update software said, uh, usually after you update an Escort detector, it's no longer gonna be able to connect uh, via Bluetooth and whatnot. So here's how we can go ahead and reset that. Uh, so you can see I'm getting the error here uh, in the Drive Smarter app. I'm gonna hit OK, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just delete the Redline CI out of the app. Next, I'm gonna go over to my phone settings. Uh, I'm gonna go down to Bluetooth, and then I'm gonna go all the way down and find the Redline CI there as well. Uh, we'll pull that one up and hit uh, Forget This Device. Uh, and then I also wanna go over to the uh, Wi-Fi and make sure that my phone is currently connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot that I want the detector to connect to. Then when I go back into Drive Smarter with my list of different devices, I can go ahead and add a new device. Uh, we'll scan for device and it should go ahead and find the uh, Redline CI 360C for us. That name is kind of a mouthful. Well, that didn't work. Maybe have to try to power cycle the detector. And now that it's booting back up, we'll just hit search again. And there we go. Found it and we'll hit continue and then just uh, repair the detector here. Hit pair, cool. Then we've got the option here to pair it with a Wi-Fi hotspot. So we'll hit uh, yes, set up mobile hotspot currently have my phone connected to the hotspot that I want the detector connected to, so I'll hit uh, Set Up Mobile Hotspot. If you haven't connected it yet, you do have to go back to the settings and redo this part, and then just type in the password. Once that's done, uh, we'll just hit Done here, and then Connect, and then I just go ahead and uh, connect uh, and get your detector now connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot, either in your car, which is what I've got, or connected uh, to your house. It failed. I'll try again here. Yep, there we go. We're getting the white uh, icon here on the detector, so it looks like we're good to go. And now that we've got the detector hooked up to Wi-Fi, I can go ahead and show you guys the second way to update uh, using Wi-Fi over the air instead. 
Now, it's kind of convenient. Uh, remember how earlier we actually updated just the firmware on the detector, but we didn't opt to uh, update the GPS database? Uh, well, I'm booting up the detector, and it's actually prompting me to go ahead and update uh, the GPS database. So here's how all the Wi-Fi stuff works. We're first going to go into the settings here for the detector, uh, and I'm going to scroll all the way to the end of the menu to get to the Wi-Fi section. And you can see that Wi-Fi is going to be on by default. You can always turn it off if you want, uh, but we're just going to make sure that it's turned on. Uh, there's also going to be some options to go in here and uh, how we want the auto update to work. We can have it automatically, you know, not update anything. We can have it update just the GPS database with your red light cameras and speed cameras. Uh, we can get the option to automatically update the firmware, or again, the default is going to be all, or well, both of those options. Now, I'm going to restart the detector here and let it reconnect to Wi-Fi. You can see it uh, just connected to Wi-Fi here. I've got the white icon, and when it connects, it's going to automatically at startup go out and check for any firmware updates. You can see the option here to update the database. So I'm going to hit the up button here on the control pad, and it's going to go ahead and start with the update process. Uh, the GPS update process is definitely faster than the firmware updates. You can see it actually goes pretty uh, quickly here. Firmware updates are bigger files. There's more things to update and whatnot. So that process does take longer. But again, this is going to be the very convenient option because right at startup, it can automatically go out and check for any updates for you. Uh, if they are available, then, well, they just pop up on screen and you hit the button and it updates for you as you drive. Uh, it is helpful to be aware that uh, while it's updating, of course, your detector is not going to be able to detect radar or jam laser or anything. It is in the process of updating. But once it's done, uh, then, yeah, you've got the whole thing updated, again, without having to, like, check for updates manually. Uh, go grab your computer, plug it in, uh, figure out the order for <laughs> turning your car on and that kind of stuff. Uh, this is definitely a more convenient option. That's a look at how we can update the Escort Redline CI360C, uh, either using your computer or wirelessly over Wi-Fi like that. Uh, down in the description, I'm going to give you guys some additional links to resources, so things like where you can download the update software, uh, where you can download the apps for your uh, iPhone or Android to get all the stuff configured, etc. Where you can head on over to the forums if you need any sort of like tech support, uh, help, that kind of stuff. So I'll have some additional resources down below where you can order the detector as well, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but other than that, there you go. There's a look at uh, how to update the detector. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys are doing well, and I'll see you in the next one.